Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Beginner's Guide to Tarkov. Today we're going to be focusing on an actual raid as a PMC today. I'm going to go through some of the bits of information that go through my head during a raid itself and exactly what I'm going to be doing. So within this particular raid I'm going to be focusing on a mission that needs to be completed. In order to complete this mission we're going to have to go into the shoreline map and we're going to have to go into office 112 of the west wing in the resort. Now right now you will see that I'm being presented with a get ready screen and a deploying in a certain amount of seconds. Each raid you will more or less see this pop up and just you know prepare you for the fact that you're going to be deployed in that particular raid. Now as soon as you're actually in the raid you will give, be given a random spawn location. Now as soon as we're in this raid I'm going to show you what my spawn location is. There you go on the screen now. Now the blue line represents the location where I need to get my mission completed. The red lines are timed extracts and the black line to tunnel is the open extract. Essentially that extract is going to be open for the entirety of the game. Every map has an open extract. Some open extracts have particular requirements you must meet and some of the timed extracts are either only one use per raid so if somebody gets in front of you and uses one you're unable to use that. Now what you're seeing right now is I've actually come across a stash within the map. There's various different stashes located across the map. In this point where we spawn we run kind of forward towards what people call drunk tank on the shoreline map and there's a stash underneath the drunk tank. From there we make our way to the resort in which you'll know when we're at the resort as there's a large helicopter just outside of the front. The west wing will be on our left hand side when entering that compound. Now as we move into the west wing we know where our mission actually is we know where we've got to go. So we're looking for office 112, which is this office here. Now I have the key for this. Make sure that whenever you're going into a raid, you take the correct keys. Now you've just seen me pick up an item there and on the bottom right, there was a little subtask piece that came up telling me that I have the mission item there. When you are in raid, you need to focus on your management of your inventory. As of right now, there is a battery right in front of me. I'm unable to pick that up because I don't have enough stash space. In order to make enough space, I've drunk the apple juice, I've moved some of my items around, I've picked up the battery, and now I'm good to go. From here, I've got my mission item, I've got plenty of loot. My main thought process right now is one, listen out for anybody who could be close by, as the resort is actually a really high traffic zone and get out. Now instead of trying to go for the rock passage extract I decided that the tunnel extract was my better option. Always be aware of where your extracts are and where you should be moving whilst trying to still collect as much loot as possible. When here make sure you're aware of any enemies that can kind of run into your path. As you saw my good friend Vlad there ran straight into my path he unfortunately got the business end of my M4A1. Now when you kill a scav or a player, you can go up to their body and start looting everything from there. Just be aware that there's nobody else around. Once you've got to your extract, you'll see an extract timer come up. On the top right, you'll see how long you've got, what extract you're at, and if you are or are not extracting. Now this is the route that we actually took. From our spawn we moved to the stash, down to the resort. Coming out of the resort we moved down to have a look at rock, uh, rock Passage but unfortunately Rock Passage was closed. So we made a move up towards Tunnel as referenced through the black line. After every raid there are plenty of information screens afterwards. How much combat damage you did, how much experience you received, what the experience was for and if you were injured you'll also have an, an injury screen so that you can heal yourself. Now because we were completing a mission with a mission item we've gone to Skia who gave us the mission in the first place in order to be able to turn the mission in and then complete that mission. Thanks to that Vitamins Part 2 actually opens up and we're able to start handing in items as you can see on screen now in order to try and complete that next mission. Mission completing is the best way to get experience and some really high tier loot. Always focus on doing your missions if you're trying to level up quickly. Okay guys, and that was a really quick video on a quick run through on a PMC run. 
please make sure that you're focusing on completing missions, surviving, knowing where your extracts are, and trying to get knowledge of the map as soon as possible. Map knowledge is more than half of the game. If you understand the game's mechanics and you understand all the maps, you will be more successful than just being able to shoot people left, right and centre. I promise you that much. But thank you so much for watching this series and hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye, guys.